The photograph of the first flight of the Wright Flyer, arguably the most important photograph in the history of aeronautics, is this Wright Flyer taking off, Orville lying flat, Wilbur's running along the right hand wing tip to keep it from dragging in the sand. The first successful powered, heavier than air, piloted, controlled flight of a flying machine in history. There was a telegram that was sent out to their father from Kitty Hawk. Success, inform the press. His father did that. The Wrights made the decision to build and operate a wind tunnel to generate and collect their own aerodynamic data. The single most important piece of information that they got out of their wind tunnel experiments was the value of aspect ratio. And the aspect ratio, by definition, for a rectangular shape like this, is simply the wingspan divided by the cord length. In 1902, they designed a new glider. That glider flew beautifully. And in that glider, they acquired more than an hour and a half flight time in the year. It was this discovery of the importance of a higher aspect ratio that led them in 1903 to go directly to a powered airplane. Their 1905 machine, just tremendous success. The Wright brothers felt that if anybody with some technical knowledge would come and look at their machine and inspect their 1905 machine, it could be easily copied. And this was when they applied for a patent to protect their idea. You file with the U.S. government, with the patent office, sketches and description of your idea, and if the patent is granted, nobody else can copy that without paying you money. Later on, they licensed several companies in Europe to build Wright Flyers. A license is permission. The company pays you money, and you give them permission to build the machine. 